up today before the sun on our way to pass a grill for the second come shell with me the blue moon shell event of course Adelia had other ideas and so she decided to push us back a couple of days because of storm surge problems at our chosen location and erosion damage to the beaches and parking lots so back up locations pass a grill but after a scouting trip two days ago to see what conditions look like, I'm confident everybody's going to have a fantastic time out there today because shells should be rolling in for days. Here we go, Sunshine Skyway Bridge. shell buddies welcome back to the channel today we are going to go back to Paso grill for the uh, rescheduled come shell with me blue moon shelling event and we're gonna go take a look at some of what actually happened on the Gulf side the last time we were there a couple of days prior which was on that Thursday the day that we went to sunset and we went to Paso grill the same day uh, the water levels were still exceedingly high and we really weren't able to tell how much damage had been done to the dunes until after the water levels dropped by Saturday after Edelia, they had done that, and you're actually going to get a first-hand look at what happened to that beach. We went to see where there was going to be parking and where there was going to be shells so that we could go ahead and reschedule our full moon shelling event. And we did so on Saturday because it was only two days past the full moon. The tide swings were still pretty good, and we had just had a monster storm bring in piles of shells. So we're going to go back out and take a look, a second look at Passa Grill and go shelling with some friends. And we're going to work not just the jetty and the dog beach side, but in uh, part two of Passa Grill Day, we're actually going to be on the Gulf side and get a, a closer look at the difference in the kinds of shells that wash in, as well as the damage that was done underneath all of the walkways uh, to the beach because that dune is like gone now. It, it, it isn't there. So these days, when you go to pass a grill, the parking down by the jetty, from my understanding, is still blocked off only because they don't want anybody going over those unsafe walkways. In certain places, the stairs don't even touch the, the sand anymore. They're sitting above them. This video is going to be in two phases. Phase one, we were down at the bottom of the point, which is from the rock jetty around to the dog beach side, that whole little southern tip. We were shelling there first. And um, then because some of the, the parking is blocked off because of the, the dune damage under the walkways, they don't want anybody on those walkways, so they block the parking in front of them. So we're going to head over to the Gulf side today, and we're going to get a good look at not only what happened to that dune and to the, the walkways, but what kind of shells you can actually find on the Gulf side above the rock jetty. So let's go take a look, see what other amazingly cool stuff that we find out there on the beach and let's go have some fun. Okay, so we are at Pass the Grill. It is sunrise on Saturday morning, September 2nd. And we've had a little monkey wrench kind of thrown in here. They had all this parking open on Thursday when I was here. And there was way more sand in the streets. Now that they've gotten some of the sand cleared, now they have the parking all blocked off which doesn't make any sense to me at all. But regardless, here we are. It's time to go have some post-storm show fun. All right, welcome to Pass a Grill Jetty Point. We are a couple of days post Hurricane Idalia. And as you can see, if you can see where I'm walking, everything that was probably in the water on this side probably landed on the rocks. And it has changed what things look like over here a little since the last come shell with me. So I'm just trying to find a way to pick my way down here. And today, my mission is to try to get around the bottom of the point. We already have three to four people here for the Come Shell With Me Day. And I think we're gonna have a really good time. I am just, by the way, standing 
all of this is just sand and shells. Mostly shells. And there is stuff in the water line. And tide is still on the way down. It is 7, 10 a.m. We are looking at sunrise right now. And low tide is supposed to be 8.42, I believe. So we have a ways to go before the, the tide is low and we can get a real look at what Passergo looks like following Adalia. So true to form on the Gulf sides, usually after a storm, either it's piled with shells or it's a little empty because everything washes up on the shore on the Gulf side. And then in the back side, on the bay side, is where you get like massive pileups. So when we were here on Thursday, that was where we went on the dog beach side. And it was really, the water was so rough here, it was sort of inaccessible that day anyway. We were not able to even see those rocks, much less get around this point. But now that the tide is on the way out, I mean, I'm, I'm standing out quite a bit further than I was a couple of days ago. You can see the water's drop significantly. I'm in spot ankle deep water. Now, as I look down, there's lots of stuff in the water. And boy, we've seen a lot of both of these things the last few days. Beach bowls and sand dollar pieces and sand dollars. All sorts of things got scoured up off of the bottom and thrown up in. So if you're looking for the big giant Atlantic heart cockles, today's your day. There's lots of them. And oh my word. Look at the size of that sand dollar. Gosh, I found one the other day that it's almost this big. I wonder if it's the other half. <laughs> so, yep, there's some big, big pieces here. So, the sand out here is pretty shifty under my feet and soft. That tells me a lot of it is likely new. And it is full of shells. My walker's sinking down an inch or two as I plant. To walk around and man there is a lot of beach bowls in here wow it's very soft yeah all right so this foot grabbing quality the sand has kind of i know that it'll be more compact when the tide finishes going out and what happened following Adalia is that we didn't actually get much of a low tide. As the tide was supposed to be dropping toward low, it kept rising. We had that king tide and that storm surge sort of collide down by Longboat and up here in Tampa Bay. And the water levels were pretty unheard of. Where I'm standing right now, I am in water up to my shins. I would have been in water over my head, and I'm 5'6". Man, there are some big beach bowls here. Look at the size of that. Holy moly. All right, that's cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I'll figure something out. That's another thing this area is known for, too, is having really big whelks and horse cocks out here in the sand and how that we've just had a storm once conditions cool out and chill out a little bit snorkeling for those might not be bad ah we're trying we're starting to get around to the bottom now wait do you see what i just found I just picked up a fistful of live tulips. Oh, I picked up one live tulip. And there's three more down there right in front of me. Wow. These guys are all alive. Look at that. So that's why you find so many tulips here. They do live around here. Yep. So we should find a lot more stuff the more we work our way toward the back. There we go, guys. Everybody have a happy day. There are live tulips surrounding me. I see another 10 of them. Oh my gosh. 
What is happening? It might be the quietest spot they've had in a few days. Hey, buddy. What's going on? There you go. Well, that's good to see stuff is over here and alive and in abundance. There's a crown con or I'm sorry, a fighting concrete in front of me. And it looks like, oh, somebody's in there. Okay. See you later, buddy. Fun. Look at the tools everywhere. Look at them all. All alive. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Now, as I was saying, I've picked up tons of shells the last few days. Tons of shells. If I go home with hardly anything today, I won't complain at all. Not that there isn't anything to be had. Trust me, there's loads over here to be had. It's just, I want to see other people find some stuff and have fun. Oh, my God, here. Oh, nice to see you. Beach bowl things are everywhere. Live tulips all over, a little fish in the water. And it's surprisingly clear, given that we just had a big storm. John, did you see all the tulips, all the alive tulips? Yeah, I put my stuff back in the water. There's dozens and dozens of them. Oh my gosh. And here we have some shells on the water, in the rocks. What we got here? Mmm, this little light colored fighting conch, I like that. There's so many live tulips, my goodness. Ooh, what's this? Whoa, that's alive too! Wow! <laughs> yeah, wow. wow. That's a beauty. Now I'm freeze framing it here and I've lightened it so that you can actually see the operculum and see what the size of it is compared to the size of the animal. Now think back to all the ones you saw that we picked up from Thursday. Those shells were huge. Wow, I'm sorry I disturbed you, but you're really, really pretty. Oh, sorry, pal. All right, we're gonna put you back in here. Stick your eat back there where you were. Just pulled this one out of the water. That's really beautiful. And what do we got down here? I don't know. I could just say Oh, and a live tulip. Two, three more live tulips. My goodness, there's another one over here. And we have olive. Nice. Ooh, is this one empty? Is it? Oh, it is. Wow. All right. First tulip keeper. The live ones are everywhere. And look at the fighting conks. My gracious, these are nice. She had a really nice wealth. Oh, I saw her. I saw her. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, I just got splashed. <laughs> yes, John? Okay, honey, I'm coming. Oh, wait, I gotta pick up that worm snail first, though. Normally, we can. I don't know how much sand is missing. But the tide is on the way down until 8:42. Yeah, 840 was like that. Yep. So we have uh, we're not going to get pinned and trapped in here. No way. Oh. And it's alive. Do you guys want to see a live horse conk? This was too much for me. Oh, oh my god. It's alive. Did you see the horse conk first thing? Look. It's alive. He's stuck right to that rock, so I don't want to pull it off yeah. and hurt it because he's clamped right on there. But there you go. So those will be here too. 
Yes, it is. I'm astonished at how clear we're following a storm, if you want to know the honest truth. There's live tulips everywhere. Mercy. Big broken piece of rock. Oh, I'm sorry, John. I got sidetracked. I got a little shell struck and sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm a little gaga right now. The piles of shells are immense. Oh my God, are you kidding me? No. Tulips. Wow. Rocks. All up in this pile, huh? All up in here. Holy schmoly. Yep. All right, most of the ones I'm seeing got critters in them. There's a moon snail. Oh, more live tulips, more live tulips. Whoa! I just lost my moon snail. Oh, I think I just found my moon snail. The live ones are everywhere. Oh, look, there's a chestnut turban, and it's still got a, a critter and an operculum. Boy, that's really cool. Hi, buddy. Here you go. And a cone. Look at that. We got here a little apple murex. Bigger piece of a murex. Oh man, this pile is great. And it's in the water and it's up here on the shore and whoa. I hope this shows on the camera that you can kind of literally see one tulip going after another. Check out a Wild Kingdom moment, babe. You want to come see this? These two are attached. Either they're mating or the big one's eating the small one. And this whole pile is like moving. There's live stuff all over the place. Yeah, look at these two. They are either mating or the big one is trying to eat the little one. That is crazy. Look at them everywhere. Ooh, there's a live murex just pulling himself shut. <laughs> Wild kingdom type day here. A little broken tulip, but at least it's not occupied, so. And yeah, there's this one. That one is. That is, that is. Oh wow, another murex. Oh my goodness. Everywhere I look, the piles are moving. Critters all over. We got this big olive shells jammed in it. Another chestnut turban. Ooh, and a beautiful empty tulip. And another empty one. Oh, I see a nice whelk up there. Ooh. There's another empty tulip. A juvenile fighting conch. Oh, that one's occupied. There's a murex, and it's empty. Yes. Loads. Loads. There's another murex. And an empty whelk. Yep. Whelks and tulips and fighting conks. Oh my. Oh, 
And murexes. I found like three. We also found a live horse conch and a big live whelk. Look at these piles, like just writhing because there's so many things in here. Ooh, there's an empty tulip. Just washed right up to me. Pieces of shell stuck in it. There we go. Oh. There's another empty room. Wow. Ah, and there's alive and alive and alive and alive. Ooh, some of a true. Oh my gosh. Is that a curriculum or a jingle show? Oh no, that's a jingle. This one's old and broken. And that is a jingle, not an operculum. Yep, there's nothing else in there. Okie doke. And what? All these shells are full of shell pieces. Ooh. Another empty tulip. So, pro tip when you come to pass a grill and you can get to these rocks, you should. And they won't always be here. The ocean moves things around all the time, but following the storm, yeah. Look at that. Nice chestnut turban. And there's one of those like, smooth augers. Another chestnut turban here. I mean, there's just live stuff everywhere. Cool stuff everywhere. Oh, is that one empty? It is. A lot of them are full. You gotta check. Lots of women are occupied, but there's a massive amount of stuff here. Oh, nice worm snail. There we go. Yeah, so up in these rocks. This is cool. You finding good wet. stuff, babe? Oh, I see a nutmeg. Oh, wow, that's a nice nutmeg. Ooh-wee. No, better. Look at the nutmeg I just pulled. Cool. That's a beauty. Wow. Well, I have got a bunch of elks and a bunch of tulips so far. Nice. I got some worm snails and some murexes and some chestnut turbans and some tulips. There's another chestnut turban. We have a beautiful color. Oh, and look at that olive. Wow, that's a beauty. Oh my goodness. Is that a moon snail back here? Hey. Oh, his eyes missing. Gee, those stuff's the best part. Ooh, smells like there's dead critters in here too. It's smelly over here. Oh yeah, we came up uh, to kind of scout stuff on Thursday to see if sunset was still gonna be viable for today. Yeah. And it isn't because there's no place to park. And that's why I told everybody come here because there's parking and then they went and blocked all the parking off. <laughs> I'm like, you guys gotta be kidding me. I was literally just here two days ago. Every day is different, and as I told my friends, just because she says shell palooza doesn't mean it's going to be today because shells come and go. Yep. You know? And because so many people knew that this was a good spot, I was also. Is that alive? That. No. It's a keeper? That's a beauty. Nice one. Wow. John just found a really great murex. A little what? He found a nice murex about that big, an oh, apple. Oh. Yep. 
but they are mm -hmm. up here and still alive. So. Oh, there's lots of empties. You just basically have to pick up everything and look. Oh. Boy, there are murex shells up here, though. Look at that. There's two of them right there. And there's a nice pile all this way through. Like, there's stuff everywhere. In the water, on the shore, like, all over. Oh wow, I just spotted a nice big tulip I think I can keep. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yep. Good job. Good job, good job. Yes, please. I'm happy. Yeah, there's tons of stuff out here. It's just a matter of checking to see if it looks empty or full. And the operculums. You can't believe the operculums we've been finding here. We must have found 20 the other day. And look, there's another one. Uh, Those are operculums off of whelks. Okay. Um, if you may, may I take your whelk shell here for a second? All right. So obviously this is way too okay. big for this, but because that's I the find them, I'm like, what yeah, is it? I that's the trap now. door to yeah. monsters, monster whelks. Absolutely. Which is a good that's sign it. because that means there's a big empty shell around here somewhere. The bad <laughs> thing is, there you go, there's your operculum. <laughs> the bad thing is you don't know if something else ate it or somebody else found it. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get around to the point because the shells on the other side were stupid on Thursday. And we can get around. Like, I wasn't sure we were going to be able to. Well, I'm not here to do that because I just got out of the boot, so I can't not. Well, I mean, you see I'm in only up to my knees right here. Yeah. I'm just walking the sand. Look at this hinged beach ball. Oh, wow. Both sides, too. American cockles. The Big giant heart cockle, yep. There is just stuff everywhere I look. Everywhere I look. All right, I'm just walking on this sand, which by the way, yeah, I did not bring the beach bag that had my beach shoes in it, and I was like, well. Thursday, where we are right now, we would have been underwater because the water was still crashing over the seawall. To give you an idea how much it's dropped, yeah. Okay, so it thins out over here a little bit, huh? Yep. That's okay. I got that nice rattle in my shell bag already. We've seen some really cool stuff so far. There's another hinged beach bowl. Do you want one of these that's hinged? Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Did you hold on to it so I can slowly get there? You bet. Absolutely. And oh my gosh, here's another one. There, now you have a set of castanets. Oh, yay. <laughs> Stay a little further out here at the knee level, yeah, where the water is. It's a lot smoother sailing. Yeah, but can I see the shells? <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my foot completely. Wow. Just drop it right in. There's Thank you. Two hinged, wow. Two hinged beach balls. Thank you. You are welcome. Yeah, I didn't think I could do it. My friend who was here with me was going to help us put our stuff back together from the, um, you know. Oh, did you get everything uh, out and drying, did you, from the flooding? Yeah. There's a milk. Ooh, this will be up.
Well, I've been here a few years, but I lived in South Carolina a long time too. And so we, we're used to the whole, fill the bathtub, fill the washing machine, fill every empty container you got with water. Cause you know the water's gonna get turned off. Have a generator, cause you know the power's gonna get turned off. Like, so. What's this? Ah, Anyone what? there's what's left of our blue moon. Still mostly full. We're only a couple of days past full and still pretty close to us in Perigee. Pretty darn good. Sweet. Oh, it's beautiful out here this morning too. It's not disgustingly hot. There's a nice breeze. Oh, I do love this sunrise shell. Oh, look at this little cute one. Oh, there's a snail wedged in there. There we go. Uh, I can sometimes, but it was a little smelly for me. So, plus I want to walk around and see everything. I just found another chest in the turban. Did you find any of these yet I today? Found, I found the jewel turban. Yeah. There's some neat stuff here today. Thank you for me, Alex. You like coral? Oh, yes, I love coral. There you go. Thank you. Oh, that. That's a nice piece. Nice murex, Don. Yeah, here's the other one. Since y'all didn't get to see it close up. Oh, that one's a little crusty. He's I'm gonna have crusty. to clean that okay, one. To clean that's that's okay. Yeah, but, but a that's monster. a behemoth. Look at that. Because wow. I can see what it's gonna look like once I clean it. You know, I know we even want to filter what it's gonna look like. One punch at a time. The gentle Terrible welk. That's another welk. What kind of sheep's that in? Just fragment. All right, the back side of this was so insane Thursday that I can't wait to get back over there and see it. A nice little fighting pump. Huh? Now we're getting into where there's a lot of olives too. Look. Oh, that's a nice one, babe. Yep, this is fun. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I don't care. Yeah. The last time I was here, it was kind of a bunch of tinies. I don't think we're looking at Tiny Town today. Oh yeah, you, I've posted and shot videos from the same places a few times now, and every time it's like a, a new beach, really. But especially after a storm. Yeah, yeah. I thought Waldo was coming today. Well, I don't know. I had people tell me they were going to be up here on Monday. I'm like, I would get there sooner than later. <laughs> Words out. <laughs> There's a tulip and a moon snail. And I thought I did. I thought I saw a murex. Look at that. Just right there in front of me. Oh, another tulip there. And these are empty. Sweet. I see a big moon snail down here. Oh man, it's in terrible condition. Oh, cool for the size, but that one's a little raggedy. i leave that there and see if this murex, or well, rather, is any nicer. It is not. My goodness, how about that tulip? Is it empty and is it nice? Cha-ching! All right. So far, I've got lots of tulips and some murexes in here, some whelks, some olives, some moon snails, a couple of hinged beach bowls. Not much in the tiny department, but I wasn't really expecting to find many tinies until we got to this backside over here where the dog beach is. And my goodness, there are some big fighting conks in here. 
Is that alive? Whoa. I must have stepped right over that guy. Or he just rolled back? Maybe. Let me see. Nice pony. John just found a beautiful horse conch. Look at that beauty. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a nice one, dear. There's the fine day. There's another Murex. Ooh. That one's lovely. Nice. Wow, I kind of can see a little better with my sunglasses on, actually, because of the way the sun's hitting off the water right now. It reduces the glare and I can see. Is that a tulip or a broken tulip? Oh, it's alive. I'm so sorry, little buddy. There you go. Oh. Little mossy arc. Cool. And there's a sunray Venus. Is it broken? Oh, it is. With all these rocks down here, it's amazing you find anything intact, honestly. Kind of shapes this guy in. Oh, it's mostly there. And there's one too. All right. Loads and loads of rack lines over here. Look at this. Rack lines up and down and all around. Here we have a tinted canthus. A little sh coquina shell stuck in it. We got a little sharp rib drill there. An itty bitty tiny little tulip. Chestnut turban up here. And up here. There's a murex back there. Another one back there. This is wonderful this morning. <laughs> There's a button with another little shell stuck inside. Boy, oh boy, he's in rough shape. I'll oh, maybe leave him. That looks like a rock snail. Florida rock snail, that's awesome. Nice big chestnut turban. A little smaller one with some oysters on it. Wow. Picked up those two Murexes. They were empty. And they had a little moon snail friend that I grabbed too. What else is over here? All sorts of different things. Lots more chestnut turbans than I'm used to seeing down here. That's usually a honeymoon thing. Half of shells. There's bubbles. Wow, lots of great little ones, jeez. John just found an alive horse conch, and I just found a keeper. Bright and vibrant, oh, how beautiful. Oh, love it. Oh, hey, there's some of those little ram's horn things that I find over at Egmont. And a baby's ear, oh boy. Another blown out button snail. Another button snail. The variety of stuff is great. Really. Some more littles. A little juvie fighting conch. A little serif. And a really small serif. And there's another little tinted cantharus. Great. There's all sorts of fun littles over here. There's another baby's ear right up there. I'll go grab that. I'm overwhelmed right now. It was really good when we were here last, but we didn't even make it out to this part because we couldn't get to from the water being so high. Now, look at us go.
baby's ear. There's another tulip down here. Yep, that's empty. There's another tiny little tulip. Oh, with a barnacle. And an empty barnacle. There we go. Oh, look, another nutmeg. And a lager. Oh, and there's a moon snail up there, too. Whew. And a tinted canthus behind it. Very nice. And look, a murex. Oh, well, he's not in great shape, but still. Look at that. How fun. Great variety of stuff. Now, some of the stuff over here is a little more beat up, shell wise. All right, well, that's not, though. That tulip's nice. There's another moon and another tulip. And there's an apple murex over here. Wow. So many cool shells. <laughs> right? Such a good variety of stuff. Like. Right. Ooh, look at these little tulips. They're just so cute. Oh my goodness. And then there's a worm snail up here. Holy moly moly. And a little baby whelk. Oh, that one's so charming. Just charming. Look at how cute. And there's a little fighting conch. And a sailor's ear. Wow. Am I crazy? Or is this? Oh, no, it's a broken piece of a fly speck. Gosh, for a second, I thought it was a runnel trap. I was about to go cuckoo. Oh, there's another murex there. And another murex there. And an old alphabet comb. Mercy. This is great. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. Yeah, pretty big hole, but. Look at the color on him. Oh, wow. That's wild. Oh, boy. That is a super buttery buttercup leucine. Look at that. It's almost orange beneath it. Look at that. Wow. Pow on that, that color. Awesome. All right, this spot at the end of Passage Road is where the current is the strongest. And then it's quieter around on the other side and there should be shells in the water and on the beach and all over. John is up there checking the high rack. Oh, there is a pretty calico clam. Bending over is a lot harder after the last couple of days, boy. There's a nice calico clam though. Yep. Oh, I just dropped my water. There's a nice calico clam and a nice egg cockle here. Very cool. Oh, breaking shells to get to shells. Holy moly, baby, there's a sand dollar. Wow. Look at that. Okay, you got the box, right? Yep. Oh no! It's just broken my hand. Oh well. Oh, I guess you don't have to get the box after all. Good. Bummer. I'm not gonna lie, I was wondering how a sand dollar survived all this. <laughs> yeah. I was more than surprised but, to see it. But, look at how many we found. Oh gosh, we did so good on them the other day at sunset. Yep. Look at this. Just covered. So all the stuff that was on the in the water the other day has been deposited up here and along the beach. And there are people like with bucketfuls of shells already today. And as early as it is 
So people have been shelling this pretty hard for a couple days now, and it's still incredible. What a beautiful little calico clam. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna get this olive over here that's so pretty. Ooh, what a nice one. There's so many people shelling. One, two, three, four, five, us make six and seven. That girl is eight. There's another gal down there, another two gals down there, nine, 10. And who knows how many have arrived on the other side at this point. All right, so since we were here two days ago, there's a whole lot more seaweed that has come up and in. There's five or six rack lines, for heaven's sake. And there was a ton of stuff in the water, but it looks as if that has moved and it's probably been moved over to where those rocks were where we were finding all that stuff earlier on the bottom. Now, under this grass, I see a whelk. Oh, well, I see part of a whelk. <laughs> and there's an auger rolling around in the surf. So yeah, this was just knee deep with shells the other day too. So a lot of that has washed up on the shore. Nice docinia. Oh look, I got a baby's ear. Cool. You did? Yeah. yeah. There. Oh wow, that's a really baby baby ear. There, this is the one I got. Nice. I got a bigger one in here actually too, but that's a little little. Here's my other one. A little baby baby ear. There's another one in there. I found a little baby horse comp oh, too. Oh, little murexes. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. I do the jingles because I make trees on the home. Oh, cool. I know people like them for scales, for like the mermaids and stuff like that too, like the wooden mermaid. Oh my gosh, I almost stepped on another baby's ear. Look right oh, there. Oh. Nice one. And there's a beautiful egg cockle right here. Maybe I need to be looking more carefully. And an operculum, look. Oh, I found an operculum. We picked up, yeah, I don't know, really bolt loads of them here. We found a bunch of them this big. We found bunches of them. Oh my God. Up here. Those are big, oh really? We found monsters oh. when we were here Thursday, yeah. There's lots of goodies out here. Right I'm seeing pieces of those uh, paper figs all over too. Yeah, no. yeah I, I picked up one that's broken, but that's only to show my girlfriends what, what it looks like. So yeah, all those crazy water piles. Well, where they were is now exposed beach, number one. Number two, it's all up on the shoreline, no longer in the water. So we've made our way around the dog beach. We didn't find a ton of stuff, but mostly we picked up so much of it the other day on Thursday and we're seeing a lot of the same things. So we're gonna make our way back to where the pile was over by the rocks. It's gotta be close to low tide time now. It's a nice one. You. Here you go. Wow. Oh, you give that to me? Yeah. Oh, baby. I picked up 20 of them when we were Thursday at least. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. A little egg cockle with half of his shell missing. I almost stepped on that. That's a beauty. Nice egg cockle. There we go. And the surf didn't just pick up. That's just from the tour boat. Not sure if they're going over to uh, Shell Key or... Is that the boat from up there? Oh, it's a fishing boat. I want to go back to the rocks where we were finding all those ah. that pile of stuff. So that's where we're going to head to. Uh, I was thinking we would go down the beach by the pavilion. Now it's kind of bugs, funny bugs for a holiday, but it is a holiday, and it will get harder and harder to find places. Hi, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the girls? Uh, this one's the car, and I think another egg cockle. Beautiful egg cockle. Uh, Look at that. Back towards the uh, point. Now, usually what I find I above the jetty is uh, just like there's lots of piles a lot of the time and I usually find good littles in those piles. Yeah. Oh, before you guys take off, 
you came specifically for a show with me, right? Like, cause it's, you know, show with me day. Yeah. So hang on, before we get separated. That's an operculum, but it's uh, pretty tired. And that one's a little worn, yeah. yeah. So, um, so do you want a keychain or a tiny's bag? Ooh, and tell them to come over and pick one too. All right, that is cool. Very warm. Thank you. Oh, let me see your tiny bag. Oh, little tiny bags. Yeah. Or I have these cool keychains. What is she? And they all say like different stuff on them, like. Hey, Kristen, come here. This one says Shell Yeah. This one's just got a design on it. Another one says Beach Bum. Which one has the mermaid tail thing? Oh, like that. Yeah, she'd like that. There's I'll, a, I'll pick that for her. I'm thinking there's the mermaid tail in the back. <gasps> she would love this. No, oh. it's your price for coming to show. So I'm getting this for Kobe. Would you like one? Because it's a mermaid. Blue or like peach? That, or would you like a goodies bag? See, I was going to say I'll take a goodies bag. Everything's like tealy. Oh, wow. This one has dolphins on it. So how do you make these? I have a brother scan and cut machine. Um, so as, do, oh, here. Thank There's you. your Shirley back. Wow. See? No problem. Not right by the jetty sometimes, but as you go up further. That's a giant egg taco. Thank you. Here's a beer, and it's very heavy. What I found recently might be a is that they're all um, really thin. You know? Well, the, the older they are, the chances are the heavier they are. The mineralization yeah. makes them heavier. Yeah, yeah. So if you that's find a shell that's heavy, it I might be a fossil. One of the women were in, was outside that lives in one of these homes. She said the water came up to her second step but didn't get in. So oh, well, we believe it. Yeah. See those sand? See Did you see that sand pile that was over there? Yeah. When we were here on Thursday, there was two big sand piles that occupied this whole area where these yard containers are now. Uh -huh. And there was a foot and a half to two feet of sand and it had gone over the whole corner wow. and they had to move it with a front end loader. That's and good. there was yeah, a yeah, big yeah. giant pile of it when we got here. That's our blue moon. Our second full moon in a month. It was actually full Wednesday night into Thursday. Right, and exactly. Just in time to bring us a huge king tide with that storm and really wreck the beaches up. Yeah, I was so Ooh. I had a missed last come show with me because of our trip. So I said, That's a gorgeous one. Boy, there's some nice ones of these around yeah. here. Well, that's what I'm Nice yellow about. prickly cockles. wanted to make a cockle wave, I would show them how to do that. I would make them. I have inventory for that. I was going to say, size of these cockles I mean they're just know, this they're is crazy good. and thank you for the togethers too you gave me the pair oh yeah the hinge ones thank you no problem so uh All right, well, we'll uh, maybe see you back over there because we're going to go back around the point to the pile where this, the big pile of stuff is okay. and go shell there more. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Look at this itty bitty little baby horse skunk I just found. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Adorable. Hey, John, has the water come up? What time is it? Oh, you don't have your phone? Yeah, I guess I can't goof around over here much because the water level has kind of come back up. All right, this is not as much fun walking back. Oh my God. Well, yeah, that too. But the water's deeper. It's uh, a whelk. Oh, it's in bad shape. Yeah, now that the boats are getting out here and kicking all this stuff up, our nice clear water 
it is getting a little a little cloudy a little tougher to see that looked like another tulip oh no alive Nice fighting conch. All right. Here's a whelk. Very nice. Kind of having fun over here in this deep stuff. Is that a murex? No, nope, it's a broken fighting conch. There's a tulip. Oh, he's alive. Sorry, buddy. Another live one. Wow. They're everywhere. This is just like Wild Kingdom today. So fun. The water's full of all these little minnows. And they're not very afraid of me with the walker. They just swim right around my feet. That noise it makes when it comes in the rocks is weird. Whew. Whoa. back in so we we got be close to nine o'clock probably I know it's like olives everywhere 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 so yeah this stuff most of this stuff was on the other side two days ago now it's moved all the way around over to here Her over here. Wow. That one's nice. Oh, nope, you're alive. That's filling up my shoes. Hello. And you're not trying to get anything to off the side. Oh my gosh. We found bunches of stuff over that way. Alright, right, it's more fun to be in the water because it's not as hot. the stuff out of my shoes. Hello. Hey. So you need to get that and then get yourself a piece of plexiglass stuff to go right through the bottom of that. Then you could walk around and see everything and then grab it. Actually, I do pretty good with my polarized sunglasses. It takes the glare yeah. off. And John's got the blue reducing, uh, the blue light reducing readers that you're supposed to wear when you're on the computer. 
And he oh, swears it's changed. Good. Yeah, he swears it's changed his life showing. Yeah. There's lots of stuff up along these rocks and there's lots of stuff on the beach on the other side. It's incredible. A lot of it's alive. Well, we did pretty good today so far. Have you found anything good? I haven't seen this much alive since. Probably February, March when we had the mass beaching. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I was here for that too. Showing in knee deep water, freezing my butt off with a winter jacket yeah. on, you know? <laughs> like a maniac. Uh, one, I live in Orlando, so we drive up there every week. I would move over here for the speed but it's not. So the tide is coming back in now. We don't quite have as much beach to look at. And it's getting a little harder to shell over here with all this stuff because the pieces keep getting in my shoes. Not gonna lie, tired from the last couple of days of shaking out beach conditions. I might be ready to sit and paw through a pile maybe. There's an auger. Oh no, I dropped it on the wrong side of the bag, it fell, and I lost it. Oh, that's okay. There's a chestnut prison to replace it. <laughs> Alright, I've gotten out of where the channel is because the tide's coming up and it's hard for me to stand over there by where the rocks. I really wish I could because there's a ton of shells over there. But between the stuff getting in my shoes and it knocking me off balance, I'm not really wanting to get hurt while I do this. So came back over here to flat side by the jetty. And you can see we've got a tide's definitely rolling back in at us. This is harder to walk in than I've ever noticed before. But that's because all this sand that we washed in is sort of new. And so I'm just sinking in it. Sinking and sinking. All right, so the tide is coming up. There's still lots of people shelling and whatnot, but truth be told, I'm pretty exhausted from the last couple of days because I've been out a number of days in a row now and a little too much physical stuff and bending over for me. So we're gonna pick our way up and get back to the car, offload some of this stuff, get a cool drink, and we're gonna go up the beach and see if we see any piles of stuff further up. Let's show John's haul. Nice. Got some fighting conks, some horse conks. Look at the size of that crazy mirror so we gotta clean. Oh my gosh, huge. Tulips, spiny, calico clam in there. We found a pile of horse conks. No, fighting conks. Or, I'm sorry, fighting conks. And what I got over here? We got a hinged beach bowl, and some whelks, and some tulips, and some olives, a crazy golf ball. I also found murexes and calico clams, chestnut turbans, and I know I've got lots of little baby tulips in here, little, little ones. So yeah, we found some neat stuff already. Oh, that's a cute little conch. Look at that. Nice. How much cool stuff was this? Oh my gosh, and that pile on the bottom of the rocks. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It was like everything that we saw in the water on Thursday on the dog beach side had all moved around over to where the rocks were. And from that one bottom end of the point almost back to the jetty, packed full, packed full of everything that had been on the dog beach side just two days ago. It was pretty incredible. So we are halfway through the Pass the Grill Return Blue Moon Shell Rescheduled Day. And I had to break this into two parts because we did a ton of shelling. We found an incredible amount of stuff. And really, when you go to Passa Grill, going to the Gulf side, it's like you're at a whole different beach than when you're at the jetty in the rocks. It, it's completely different. You find totally different shells. The, the walk is different. The vibe is different. The scenery is different. And realistically, you're in the same exact place, which is kind of a, you know mind-blowing a little bit. So we are uh, complete with A, the, uh, the dog beach and jetty part, and we are gonna go ahead and do part B of this little shell excursion next, where we go over onto the Gulf side, we meet some more channel fans, we find lots of cool new shells, 
and we get to do a lot more fun stuff. There's some cool, rare, and different finds, and a lot of completely different things on the Gulf side than what you're gonna see down at the, the jetty and the dog beach. You might be starting to wonder what I'm going to do with this mountain of shells that we found that was brought in by Adalia and we collected from all these different uh, check it on beach place runs that we did. So stay tuned because after we wrap up the epic shelling series there is going to be a pretty epic creation video showing all the really neat stuff that i'm making out of all of these things and you'll be able to find jewelry in there and or things for your home like some really cool lights and some shadow boxes it is also the fall season which means we have some shows coming up so if you're interested in getting out there to visit some of these shells and see what i turn them into firsthand in person you can come see john and myself over at the tampa state fairgrounds november 3rd and 4th during that weekend for the Cha the tampa gem and mineral club's annual fall show so we'll be there at the special events building come on over and say hello if you let me know that you saw that on this video, by the way, I'll have a special goodie just for you. So stay tuned for some more really cool finds from the Paradise Grill area of the Gulf side of Casa Grill, where we'll have some more really neat finds and some really cool stuff. And if you get on out there to the beach this weekend, it's a little cooler. Hope you enjoy yourself and have a great time and find lots of great shells. Thanks so much for coming along, and we'll see you again really soon.